In this video, we're going to be looking at building a clone army for the Battle of Kashyyyk. <laughs> Hello, Star Wars collectors, and welcome to another Bosk's Bounty video, and welcome to my video on building a clone army for the Battle of Kashyyyk. So, as you can see, I do have three carded figures in front of me here, which we are going to be opening in this video and, get, and taking a look at in closer detail. We have a Kashyyyk Trooper of the Legacy Collection, a Kashyyyk Trooper for the 30th Anniversary, and Commander Gree. And we also have two figures loose already, which I'm going to talk about in a second. But fans of this channel will know that I am trying to create a decent sized clone army. I've got a fair few 501st and 212th and what have you, but where I was lacking was the Battle of Kashyyyk or the Kashyyyk Troopers. So over the last few weeks, I've acquired these figures in front of you and we're just going to go through them in a bit more detail and see what the little army mini army looks like once they're all out of the packaging so we'll get bosk out of the way first of all so this one is the saga collection uh, i think this is the elite trooper or 41st elite i think he's called that anyway it's been a long time since i've had the packaging for this figure and the problem with this one is that he's a little bit short and ultimately he's not screen accurate he is pretty much a repaint of the scout trooper so and the helmets and everything are a little bit different with those figures so but he's still pretty good he looks decent he's got decent camo really do like this figure really um he, he goes well in the army this one here was actually gifted to me by my friend mark and it is actually a custom figure and it's a repaint of this guy and it's basically painted in the bark trooper colors i absolutely love this thing i think it's been done really really nice i love his darker camo and i think it's just a bit more accurate for the bark trooper so He's a good one to have as well in the collection. So we're just gonna move those two over here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna, first of all, we're gonna concentrate on the 30th anniversary trooper because this one came out first. We're gonna take him out. And also what we're gonna do is gonna compare him to this one, see if there's any differences whatsoever. Just taking a quick look at the packaging of the 30th anniversary one because there, there is nice packaging. You've got a lovely image of the Kashyyyk trooper there. He's there in his bubble, nice and clear. Revenge of the Sith at the bottom. Star Wars at the top. Then you've got the 30 there with 77 to 07, obviously the 30th anniversary, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away printed on there. And you've also got a Clone Wars offer sticker there, which is pretty cool. On the back of the card, you've got various other figures from the line and some mystery figures there, which is pretty cool. And a little write up about the Kashyyyk Trooper if you wanna pause and read that. But I wanna get this figure open and check him out. All right then, so here's the figure out of the packaging and you can see he looks pretty decent indeed. Uh, he does come with the stand, very much like the Saga collection figures did, the Kashyyyk Trooper written on the front there. And all in all, it's a very decent figure. The detail on him is really, really nice. I love the camo. I mean, who doesn't like camouflage clones? He looks awesome. Decent weapon that he comes with as well. Now the difference between this one and the actual Saga collection one is that the helmet lifts up to reveal the clone face although i'm not really too sure how accurate that face is to be honest seems very different to the other figures that we've got where they have removable helmets and things like that but i still like the way that does lift up there i think that is pretty pretty cool the one complaint about this figure is that he always seems to be leaning over to the right hand side and it's because the hip joints aren't too clever really and the way his legs sit and his ne his knees move and everything and he always just seems to be slanting off to that right hand side Whatever you do, you can't seem to fix that. He does have this upper torso movement here, so maybe it's something to do with that where you can have him actually posed at a different angle. But as I say, the, the, the legs just seem a little bit weird to me. But still, I think this is currently the best Kashyyyk Trooper that we have, and with a few little modifications and everything, I still think it's good enough to put onto a Vintage Style card, and it's something that we're missing because obviously we do have Commander Gree and we do have the ATRT driver in the vintage collection but we don't have the actual Kashyyyk Trooper which is a bit of a shame so that's that guy anyway and next we're going to open up the legacy collection version which is essentially the same figure but we're going to just check it out just to see if the paint works any different maybe it's a slightly different shade or whatever and here's the Legacy Collection. This probably came out in, what, 2010, I'm thinking, or 2009, possibly. 2008, this one. So shortly after this one, repacked in the Legacy Collection. 
as part of the build of droids you get that little leg there of that particular droid the r4d6 which is pretty cool so maybe i'll have to start collecting those but we're going to get this guy out and we're going to compare him to that one and see if there's any differences all right so here's the legacy collection version out of the packaging and indeed it is exactly the same figure i can't really see any differences really they are pretty much identical obviously all figures come with slightly different paint markings and whatever occasionally but ultimately it's the same figure which is pretty cool because it gives you two chances to be able to get this figure i think both of these were pretty much the same price the 30th anniversary one and the legacy collection one i think possibly the only better value that you're getting out of the 30th anniversary one is the stand with the kashik trooper written on there whereas this one you had to supply your own stand but ultimately those figures are pretty much identical and again as i said with a few little tweaks maybe these figures are good enough to be in the vintage collection but of course with all good troopers they need a commander and we do have command agree here from the 30th anniversary now this figure is released in the vintage collection he is on his own card back and i'm pretty sure that they are the same figure this guy was just repacked into the vintage collection i will get my vintage collection card right now so we can compare just to make sure that they are the same so here is the vintage collection version on the right hand side now obviously this one was probably 2010 or 2011 possibly um, and obviously this one's the 30th anniversary so 2007 and it, it, they are exactly the same figure which is awesome because this one here this one in the vintage card goes for quite a bit of money so if you want it loose i recommend picking up the 30th anniversary version much cheaper way of getting the same figure all right so here he is command agree in 3.75 inch form and it is a great figure the removable helmet is really nicely in scale which is a thing that happens too often with these figures as you can see there has that clone head underneath there which is pretty cool but he looks good with his helmet on there pretty screen accurate i would say i probably would say this is the best gree that we've had and uh, there's a little stand that comes with it in the 30th anniversary very much like the saga collection which is cool i love his camo very nice paintwork on this figure and obviously all the articulation that you're going to need he does even have ball jointed hips which is missing from the troopers he has a little backpack on his back there of the antenna so very nice sculpted figure all the way around the only disappointing thing i have with this figure is that he does come up come with these binos and for the life of me i'm not sure how i'm going to get it in that hand that hand is so tough to open out and whether it goes in that hand where the weapon is i do not know but i haven't attempted that yet and i'm not going to it's um it's, as soon as I tried to get it in that hand, it maybe even took a bit of the paintwork off, which I don't want to do. But I'm okay without him having the binos, although it would be quite nice to have him, you know, looking through them on a display or whatever. But uh, yeah, so obviously when you're having a army of clones for the Kashyyyk battle, you do need Command Agree. And the cheaper way of getting him is in that 30th anniversary, a lot, lot cheaper than the Vintage Collection version. So there you go then guys, that is the start of my clone army for the Battle of Kashyyyk. We have the Saga collection, we have the 30th anniversary collection, we have the Legacy collection, although those two are exactly the same, and we have Command Agree. We also have my very cool custom Bark Speeder, which is a repaint of this guy here. All I need now is a couple of 80 RT drivers, because I do only have this one carded so i'm going to be on the lookout for a couple of these loose and then if i do get those loose then no doubt i'm going to have to track myself down some atrts which i do know that you can get in like a battle pack the figures aren't great with them they come with the posed knees i think that you can't move but it'd be good to maybe get a couple of these guys on them or perhaps in the future the vintage collection could release a atrt which would be awesome but as I said guys that is the start of my clone army for the Battle of Kashyyyk I hope to pick up some more possibly some more of these guys these guys are absolutely awesome I think you know three or four more of them I think that would look really cool on display but thank you very much for watching let me know your thoughts in the comments section below do you collect figures and create clone armies and things like that I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section below but thank you very much for watching hit a like if you've enjoyed this video and we'll see you on the next one